been a long day. I don't make videos like this. I really don't. I'm focused on my career, my salvation. If that makes sense. I don't really talk about myself. I, uh, I, I keep to myself a lot and I bring videos so people who listen and watch my stuff, people who need it the most, the, fee the people that feel like outcasts, that don't get treated like family. We live in a world where no one has manners. All we ever do is just watch and listen to social media every day. I don't mumble. I don't I, I I don't do speeches often. This is just from the top of my head. Nothing is scripted. I ain't doing this for any reason besides having you listen closely. And if you want me to guide you, I have a family. You probably have seen them somewhat. I know we haven't done a wrestling match yet. I am still working on that. It's hard to get a hold of people who are willing to participate. Sometimes they're always busy. Sometimes they don't have a phone. And I don't have con contact information about them. But don't worry, matches will come up. I have some um, title belts that I am willing to have them win. And be a member of the family. Bo Dallas, the greatest of all time in WWE history, at least right now, he always wanted to follow in Bray's footsteps. Bray always wanted him to be there. Bray was a great person, a great father, a great husband, a great friend. You don't see that every day. It's hard to find people so special like that. I, I felt like I lost my, my soul, my energy, my energy of excitement and to keep up with every single SmackDown episode to see if he would come back and he still hasn't because of his problems that he didn't want to share with the public eye but <laughs> he, he was right after all we live in a world where society has poisoned the souls of men we can't do this we can't do this I didn't make the world the way it is. They did. And people like them did because they think they're better. They can't stop craving. They just want more and more and more until it fills your mouth and explodes out your ears. And I'm sitting here thinking, why is anyone not doing anything about it? I don't talk political and I'm keeping that to myself obviously because we all have our political views we all have opinions I respect your opinions respect me for mine that's how I see it that's what I want to see it as so that's an off topic situation but I just wanted to let you know that I am doing well I did have some videos that you guys probably already saw my shining videos I'm working on making more of those by the way there's more scenes I want to do. And I have more new stuff that I'm working on getting uh, for wrestling. I'm working on the people um, that are willing to do matches. I'm working on having them sign waivers.
it's it's frustrating to me. It's hard for us as people. As, as people, we look at the world in a different limelight. We look at the world as if we don't belong or that we feel threatened or that every single time that you believe in something and they disbelieve it and make fun of you for it, it's just crazy to me, man. It's crazy. It's really crazy. No. I have no followers. I only have brothers and sisters all in the name of cause. People are like sheep. You understand me? They can't lead themselves. They need to be led. Why are people not waking up and seeing this? Taking special care of it. Life for me is not a metaphor or a slogan. Well, it kind of is. It's a good slogan. It's a way of truth. It doesn't make sense, but it will. You lie for the ones you love, you, the, the ones you care about. Let's say your mother has breast cancer and she won't tell your dad because she's lying to him because she loves him and, he don't, and she don't want him getting worried. That's what the significant of life for me is. Lie for me. You. You. On your TV or phone screen, lie for me. If you want, in my society, you have to lie for me. You have to pray. And pray hard. You pray so much that you lie to your God. I am a Christian, obviously. I am a very big Christian. I believe in God. My God. He is a great man. With great responsibility. And he is making sure to take care of Wyndham and Brody. This ain't just a wrestling fraction that I've created. It's a real family. We are real people. We don't fake. I'm not faking. This is really me. Now, I do know that I put some stuff out there that is uh, like rap music. I've made two songs. They're very shitty ones, but I've made two of them. I'm still obviously practicing. I'm still writing. I'm still learning more. I've always wanted to be a rapper ever since I heard Eminem. So, yeah. But I just wanted to let you know that you're not alone. And you can do anything you put your mind to. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you keep believing. I want to be in the WWE. That's what I'm working towards. And when it gets to that point, I will vlog all of it. So that way you guys know what you have to do to become a professional WWE breakout star my name is Max Black Williams and the Williams family has more to come following and saluting our fellow hero Uncle Howdy for taking over his brother's story and sculpting it into something more, something different, but the same, you know. I got more to talk about. I got more to win. I got more to lose. I'll never lose this family. Unless one of them steps out, I'll just replace them. Once a family member, always a family member. I should get going. 
has been nice talking with you. And please, do me one favor. Lie for me.